welcome to my vlog today and I'm taking you to a place in Turkana it's my first time in Turkana and I really really love it it makes me want to say Diyan is overrated but actually it is the thing with Turkana is you see a tree you even see a palm tree I mean palm trees are everywhere but in Turkana it makes you feel like you just discovered palm trees okay. and I have a cute Nose, I'm just from Brazil from my plastic sanctuary. <laughs> yes, Mze, it's tell me. Starting to no, no, no. Wait, wait, yes, okay, so it's going to scar. How, how did you hurt yourself? I, uh, I think it's because of uh, self esteem. People didn't think my nose is cute, so I decided to do this. But, they came with but this is only temporary. <laughs> oh, yeah, and it has to come with the glasses. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so visitors have arrived, and I think this is part of what happens when visitors arrive. I need my show. I found these ladies when I'd gone for a walk on the beach and I told them to pass by so that I can sample their baskets. Hey, okay. Now, in in Oh, yeah, hippo. Meno, yeah, hippo. Oh, yeah, I'm little happy. Meno, yeah, hippo. 300 mbili. Mm. Oh, see, I'm for some mingi. Eh, okay, you ready? Eh, eh, I'm like a biology guitar. I just got myself some baskets and table mats and those ladies are so cool look at the necklace they gave me I'm so excited oh yeah plus they were insisting that I look like them nice I'm so happy when I contribute to an economy like this. They were woven by them. And I bought them. So I'm a very happy person right now. Okay, so one of the most important things you learn in film school is that you must check the facts around the subject that you're doing. The subjects and the content. And, and, and that's a very basic part of any editorial um, sector of film. As you've seen, I found these ladies innocently. They had a hippopotamus tooth and it was for sale. But the idea of having hippopotamus tooth did not sit right with me. And that's why I asked them on where they, they found it. And what they said was they found it on the shores of the lake. I went to the internet and checked on um, the framework within which this is legal or illegal and I've I stumbled upon an article written by Alexandra Fisher she had written it for National Geographic about the underground trade of hippopotamus teeth and there were some guys that were nabbed in Uganda let me just read it for you it's not known how many hippos are left across Africa but during the past few decades, the animal with a reputation as the continent's most dangerous, more dangerous than lions, elephants, even buffalo, has become increasingly threatened by hunting. Okay, then there's another part here. Records of the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora sites shows that between 2004 and 2014, Hong Kong reported importing almost 60 tons of teeth from wild hippos in Africa for commercial purposes, nearly half from Uganda. Under sites, a regulated legal trade in hippo 
ivory is allowed. Eight figures show that the source countries are now predominantly Tanzania, Zambia, Zimbabwe, and Malawi. The hippo carvings are popular partly because they command lower prices than those from elephant ivory. This is crazy. So far, in 2016, investigators seized nearly 900 pounds of hippo ivory, a fraction of the total suspected illegal trade in Uganda. Oh, by the way, did you know that pegs are hippo equivalents of our molars? Extensive civic education has been done on elephant tusks and rhino horns. A lot that most of the Kenyan people that I know, even up country, are very well aware that it is illegal to own or involve yourself in the trade of killing the elephant and selling their body parts. Yeah, but how much does the local people know about the fairly rare and fairly cheaper hippopotamus teeth trade? And actually, when I spoke to this lady, they were not aware that having hippopotamus teeth in their possession is illegal. And I think it's time that we have um, civic education on conservation. Anyway, this place is so good. It's so cute. Today is my last day here and yeah, it's been such a lovely stay. Let me show you how the goats are drinking from the pool. Actually, sorry, this is not a swimming pool. It's a health spa. The water comes straight away from the Elia Springs through the pool and out into the lake. So there are no chemicals that are used to treat the water, which means the water is suitable for animal and human's consumption. Plus, I think it's beneficial to the skin. Check out the key holder. I love that key holder. <laughs> The owner is a former biologist and he owns a place like this and you can evidently see that there's very little damage if any which is really satisfactory to me because I know every time I come here I've contributed to conserving natural spaces. Mm -hmm.